what's going on YouTube it's your boy Don Mike back at it again with another video in today's video if you couldn't tell by the title we're talking all about Tesla why I'm a current investor in Tesla why I will continue to be an investor in Tesla essentially forever generally speaking I'll be talking exactly about what Tesla has to offer you as an investor and whether or not you should actually jump in and grab yourself some Tesla stock now because it is quite a bit high or should you weigh it out maybe jump in a little lower I'm not a financial advisor but either way here's my three cents before we get started you guys know i gotta get the plugs out of the way so make sure you drop a like on this video it is the easiest way to support me thank you very much for dropping a like past that make sure you guys get yourself four free stocks when you sign up for Webull. i actually just received the email and we will actually just extend it the four free stock offer to february 2nd so now you have until february 2nd of 2021 to get yourself four free stocks on Webull. so make sure you go do that you'll get two free stocks just for signing up and then another two when you deposit your first 100 dollars deposit Either way, make sure you sign up with my link down below for Weeble. And on top of that, make sure you sign up for my link down below for Robinhood, and you'll also get yourself another one free stock. So look at that, five free stocks, basically just for watching my video. So in this video, I'm definitely gonna have to have some notes because Tesla really does offer a lot more than just cars. A lot of people already know this information, and this isn't private information by any sake. It's really pretty public information, but the average investor, or just really the average person, I'm not gonna say investor, the average person that knows of Tesla doesn't know everything about Tesla versus Tesla has electric cars. That's fine. That's cool. But that's not the reason the stock price is so high right now. And honestly, it's a bit overvalued, but we'll get into that later in the video. Either way, Tesla offers way more than just cars. But before we even dive into any of that, I just want to show you guys my position in Tesla on Robinhood real quick. So let's do just that. So I'm opening up my Robinhood portfolio, face ID, and we're in. It's looking like we're up about $77 today, good stuff. Portfolio is sitting at a nice $23,000, and I have about $4,000 in buying power. But we're not really here for any of that. We're here actually just to go to Tesla. So let's go ahead and click on the search and type in TSLA. That is the ticker for Tesla. If you don't know, there you go. Either way, Tesla right now is sitting at $852.74. Tesla went up slightly today, nothing crazy, and it's actually down right now in the after hours. If I scroll down a little bit, you guys can actually see my small position on Tesla. I consider it a small position. Others might consider it a large position. But either way, here's my position on Tesla. I have about three shares of Tesla, 2.967731 shares of Tesla. That's worth about $2,500 right now with a portfolio diversity of 13% and overall average cost of $407. I do obviously plan on buying more Tesla as the title of this video isn't obvious enough. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be invested in Tesla for at least the next five years. Overall, today I'm up with Tesla by about $10 and my total return on Tesla since I've actually bought into Tesla stock is $1,322.12, a 109% return. On top of that, I also have a recurring investment on Tesla, and that is for $10 every single week. So that means every single week, $10 from my bank account will go into Tesla stock to buy me even more Tesla stock. It does not matter what the stock price of Tesla is on that given day, but every Monday, $10 will go straight to Tesla, and that's basically for dollar cost averaging. No matter what the stock price is, I'm buying $10 worth of Tesla stock every single week, essentially forever, unless I just turned it off or increase it or decrease it or do whatever I wanna do. I currently don't have any options on Tesla, but I do plan on change that in the near future. I do plan on getting a nice option. I haven't decided when I'm gonna get it yet, but when I do get it, I'll let you guys know. Either way, last year, December of 2020, roughly November to December of 2020, I made about $5,000 off of my option. So I made about $5,000 in one month from Tesla stock doing one single option. That Tesla option cost me about $4,500 and I ended up selling that option about a month later for roughly $9,200. I still plan on making a video talking about that, but for the time being, there you go. The information will be somewhere over there. Either way, let's get started with what Tesla actually has to offer to you as an investor. Let's start with the vehicles. So Tesla has the Tesla Model S, the Tesla Model 3, the Tesla Model Y, the Tesla Model X, as well as the Tesla Roadster, which has not released yet, the Tesla Cybertruck, which also has not released yet, as well as the Tesla Semi, which also has not released just yet. The Tesla Model 3 as well as the Tesla Model Y are both pretty affordable. The lowest tier ones are sub $40,000 for the vehicle. So you can get a solid Tesla SUV, which is pretty much best in class on the SUV side of things, or a solid Tesla sedan, which is also basically best in class for the price point that you're going for. And that's pretty much a recipe for success and the sales numbers show just that. I personally believe that the Tesla Cybertruck will change the whole pickup truck industry, especially when it starts at only $40,000, just like those other two vehicles that I mentioned, which are both game changers in their own respective classes. 
we should see the Cybertruck go into production this year, but I wouldn't be surprised if it got delayed a little bit, but hopefully it goes into production this year. And real quick, I would just like to mention, as far as the charging network goes, Tesla has the best charging network, I mean, compared to any other automaker in the US. So if any other automaker like BMW, like Honda, like Mercedes wants to try to play catch up with their electric vehicles and have their own special charging network that's separate from Tesla's charging network, I'm not saying you can forget it. I'm just saying it's going to take a long time. Tesla's already in place. It's already there. It's already expanding. They're still expanding every single day, every single year. Meanwhile, all these other automakers, they don't really have anything to charge with. So that kind of sucks. Lastly, before we get off the general vehicle topic, Tesla also has the best battery, the best battery tech that goes into their Teslas. Currently, every other car maker simply does not compare when it comes to the battery tech when you look at Tesla versus them. So put it that way, Tesla's getting the best range, Tesla's getting some of the best performance. Overall, it's the best bang for your buck and you can't really go wrong with a Tesla unless you really find something else that just doesn't compare. So let's move slightly away from the cars to autonomy. Yes, autonomous driving, driving without you actually having to drive. You don't have to actually drive the Teslas. If you have full autonomous mode, the Tesla will simply drive itself. Every single Tesla on the road right now is basically recording data that it sends back to Tesla to make every other Tesla on the road even better than the day it was before. Tesla also wants to get into the robo taxi industry. So imagine you have a Tesla Model 3 or whatever Tesla just sitting outside your house. You're not using it for the day, for the week or whatever. You might have another car to drive. In an ideal world, you will be able to click an app on your phone and let your Tesla know, yeah, you can go and do taxi stuff today. Basically your Tesla that you own, if you wanted it to do this, could go out, drive around, pick up people, take them to wherever they need to go. They would then pay for that service like a regular taxi, Uber, Lyft. They would pay for that service and then the Tesla would simply drive back home to your location at the end of the day or I guess whenever you decide to actually cut it off. And guess what? You just made yourself some passive income just because you own a Tesla and you have the robo taxi service turned on. That's something that could be possible in the future and robo taxis is definitely something to look forward to in the future. So autonomous driving, robo taxis, just another thing that Tesla has under their belt and something that they can definitely accomplish with all the tech that they have. Next up, let's talk about some Tesla solar. So basically Tesla has some solar panels that you can actually just put on the roof and obviously that would bring in energy from the sun that would then power your house. My parents actually have some solar panels on their roof and it works just fine. The sun comes in, you know, the sun shines every single day or mostly every day if it's not cloudy comes in, you get energy from it, and basically you don't have to pay a BT and E bill. It's that simple. Obviously you have to pay for the solar panels and then once the solar panels are paid for, then you're all good to go. Clean energy, free energy, and that's simply that. Tesla already has their own branded solar panels and they're already out right now. So if you wanna go and grab some Tesla solar panels, just go on the website and type in solar and I'm pretty sure you can get some solar panels for whatever you may need some solar panels for. Typically on a roof, I don't know where else you really put them, maybe a solar farm, but I don't really know. I'm not, I'm not sure. You tell me down in the comment section below. You tell me. Either way, on top of that, they have the Tesla Powerwall, which is actually my favorite thing about the solar panels for Tesla. Normally with regular solar panels, like the ones that's on my parents' house right now, the energy from the sun will come in. It'll power the house. Whatever energy you don't use would then go back to BG&E and essentially save BG&E money. You don't really want to do that. The whole point of having the solar energy and clean energy and everything is for the energy to come into the house and all the energy that's not being used to actually be stored somewhere so you can use it for a later date, maybe if the power goes out one day or just store it for a later date to actually use later. So with the Tesla Powerwall, if I didn't make that clear, it simply stores solar energy. Normally, like I said before, the energy would come in and whatever you don't use would just go back to BG&E and save them money. But the whole point is to save you money. So the energy would come in and whatever you don't use would go straight to the Tesla Powerwall that you can then save for later. Lastly, regarding solar, Elon Musk also was thinking about putting solar panels on top of a Tesla Cybertruck that could then power the Cybertruck, I believe, get up to 40 or 50 miles a day, which if you don't drive the Cybertruck that much, is actually a pretty good thing. We'll see if that option actually happens in the future. We have to just wait and see when the Cybertruck comes out, but that'd be pretty cool to get some solar panels on a Cybertruck. Just imagine your Cybertruck parked at Home Depot and it's getting your charge while you're in the store shopping. It's getting a charge, charging itself back up. So then when you leave out of Home Depot after getting all of your things, your Tesla Cybertruck is charged up and ready to go home or ready to go wherever it needs to go next. What? I mean, who knows if that can happen? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Elon Musk can pull it off because, I mean, he's pulled off enough already. And that's actually my perfect segue to Elon Musk in general. So let's talk about Elon Musk for a second. So obviously the creator, Elon Musk, of Tesla has plenty of other companies under his belt. He has Tesla, he has SpaceX, and he has one of my favorites that I personally like myself, which is Starlink. All those companies obviously connect to Tesla because they're connected to Elon Musk. So either way, he probably can pull funds from one to another. I don't really know how all that works. I'm just saying 
the guy is on to something. He's been doing great things for some time now, and I can't wait to see what he has to offer 5, 10, 15 years from now. And I'm here for it. I'm here for it 100%. Anything that he's invested in, I'm going to be invested in because, I mean, he knows what he's doing. I have no issue with it. He has my trust. He has my investment. And I still plan on getting a Tesla through my Tesla shares as well as Tesla options. So we'll see how that goes in the future. But either way, clean energy is the future. That's why I'm personally invested in Tesla essentially forever. And also think that you should drop a, a couple dimes, you know, a couple dimes in Tesla. Because, I mean, I think it's just a good company to be invested in. You tell me how you feel about Tesla down below. But that is basically it for this video. So make sure you drop a like on this video. I didn't plan on this video being this long. Hopefully it's not crazy long. It says 36 minutes right now. Oof. I mean, I know it's not because I, I, I was stopping looking at notes and everything, making sure I got everything right. I know it's not 36 minutes, but I just don't want it to be like 25. You know what I'm saying? Like, either way, thank you guys for watching this video so much. Thank you for all the support. I have tons of videos coming soon in the future. Um, they won't be as long as this one. They might be in depth because I try to get decently in depth with you guys. And yeah. That's kind of it. So, like I said before, like the video if you want to like it. Get yourself four free stocks of Weeble, one free stock with Robinhood. Also, grab yourself some Acorns. Get five free dollars of Acorns. And if you want some cryptocurrency, ten free dollars, I think, of Bitcoin with my Coinbase link down below. All these links are down below that. You know, all these links are down below. You guys know the good jazz. But that's it. I'm out. Thank you for watching this video, to be completely honest. Like, I'm so serious. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for supporting me. Everything. I'm out. Dollar Mike. Peace.